Well, in my case, I didn't, which is, thank God I didn't, that I didn't have kids in that relationship because um, raising children, because we women, women don't talk about this a lot, raising children with somebody who really betrayed your trust is the hardest thing ever. Is the mm-hmm. hardest thing ever, and the and 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 the society always asks for women to put their feelings aside to take care of the kids. But mm-hmm. how do you put your feelings aside if somebody you were in a relationship for ten years betrayed your trust and disrespected you, and mm-hmm. with that person you have to co-parent? No one, mm. that person don't have integrity, no morals, no values. That's the hardest thing you yeah. can ever do. So, I think. My advice is, if I can give some, is to make sure um, you really, really do your due diligence on people you making kill children with children mm-hmm. with. So, yeah, there's a fine people are. I mean, people have always been careless, but I think it's amped up. I think it's it's just magnified and it's worse. Um, in the last, like, I find. 10 years for some reason I just find it's just people just don't care and and that's part of that that hookup culture as well ties into who people are making children with people are just the hookup culture not knowing if they have STIs not knowing the person's last name not knowing anything about if these if this person is in a relationship with someone else or if someone else thinks that they're in a relationship with this person yeah. And then they get pregnant with people that they don't know. They don't even know if he has a job. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I just, I don't know. Like this, this way that society is going is so extreme. And I know people are not going to be happy, but with me saying this, but I, I don't, I think it's kind of, we are at the extreme end and I'm waiting for the pendulum to swing back to hopefully more in the middle. This is not good. This 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 hookup culture, this not caring, this having babies with people that you don't even like, um, like it's it's gonna come to a big crashing. Oh yes. And like people are like in ten fifteen years, there's gonna be a lot of regret, and then these children are made and. It's like, a, and... it's like a vicious circle. Mhm. Yeah. Mhm. But you can't tell people if you tell people that. Oh, your your sh- your body, you're shaming me. You're sex yeah. shaming me. Um, I'm. It's 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 about it's. I'm like okay, do what you want. I've got, I I've kind of I've kind of stopped saying anything because you're shaming people, and it's not about shame. It's just about it's not about shame. It's about just being smart. Yeah. Using, you know, kind of, you have to kind of plan ahead a little bit and just get to know people. Like, what's the big rush? Like, you do not have to, nobody's saying don't have sex, but do you have to do it on the first night? Right. Like, can you hold, do you you even care to know if you can hold a conversation with this person? Do you enjoy this person's company? Yeah, but like, some some people just get drunk and have fun. I think it, I, it's not even drunk. People aren't doing this drunk. People are going into this, literally texting people or calling people. And do you want to hook up? And they literally call, meet them on an app, and in two hours they're having sex with them. I know people who have done that. that how that's... how how important is it to 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 when you're single to stay celibate? To stay abstinent. Important. Um. Ooh, that's a hard. Way. I don't know how to answer that because everyone has to make that decision for themselves. Do you think, do you think it's important? It depends what you want. If you are, if you're not looking for a relationship, I think sling that vagina around go ahead whatever that's your business (laughs) but (laughs) 
but if you are looking for 